Hey everyone, okay, on this video I'm going to be showing you the difference between multiple types, I was going to say three, but there's actually more, of executable packages or packages that we can uh, execute and they will either install a package, run an environment for the package, etc, etc, etc. So if you're in a, you're, you're a Debian-based, it, do, it doesn't matter in which one, but let's just talk on Debian in this case, because I'm, I'm on Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Linux Mint, uh, all those derivatives of Debian. Uh, if you're there, you already know about dev packages. Okay, so we got dev packages there, DEB. You execute them, you double click, that's it. They install, they use the, the software center and you're done. But there's more. So I've been getting to a point where I've been using or using less snap, which by the way, I have to say over the past, hmm, let's just say two versions, I wouldn't say three, uh, snap actually has been uh, snappier, faster. Um, I could vouch for Android Studio, uh, Firefox, Flutter, um, and other things that I actually had here. Uh, I had Postman, but um, it uh, was actually running beautifully. I just happened to uninstall it right now because I wanted to test how fast Postman was on Snap uh, versus the one that I'm be using a lot, which is Flatpak. Um, and they're the same. They're the same. I even tested uh, app image is called. Well, actually, there's one here. Uh, it's dot app image, same speed. So it has gotten to a point where it's very hard for me to, to actually see the difference in speed um, between three. I was not able to say that for Snap, I would say like three versions ago, where Firefox was really slow to start. And I do understand that the first time you, you start an app on Snap, it's super slow. And I mean it, like super slow. After that, yeah, it, it opens, but it doesn't open as fast as you would expect, okay? So um, it, it's still slow there. Uh, Currently, well, let me just open Firefox here. You can see, voila. Um, and it's like you, you don't even notice, okay? Compared to Google Chrome, crappy Google Chrome, uh, because I just clicked on it, it took that long to actually uh, start, okay? So, but I wanted to show you this because it, it, it got to a funny point. So I have this many packages on Snap, and then I went, today when I was curious, okay, I want to see how many packages I, I'm, I'm using, I'm actually using on, on Flatpak. So I'm using, I'm actually using Postman, ECFX, got to delete this one uh, because green with the MV doesn't work properly on the, um, the new uh, NVIDIA cards. Uh, I'm using OBS Studio, this OBS Studio that I'm recording with, and I'm using a bunch of other things, okay? Uh, handbrake, especially handbrake there in Blender. So uh, there's a lot of tools that I'm using that happen to be, and here's where we start um, comparing them both. At the speed level, or at least at the speed of Snap being updated and all that, I could say that in 20, in 2210, they're flat packing and, and Snap are running at the same speed, okay? The only difference that I was able to find was that when uninstalling the Flatpak package, for example, Postman, it took longer to uninstall it than on Snap. On Snap, I just press enter the moment that I said I wanted to purchase that, well, remove it, and it took less than a second. On Flatpak, it took longer. But on Flatpak, I was able to find more up-to-date packages. So the, the the argument that they uninstall faster it's 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 worthless okay so snap it uninstalls the packages faster but I don't I'm not going to be uninstalling packages every day so I what I need is them to be up to date so for example handbrake um on snap was on 
one. I have a 1.6.1 here, which is the latest one. Uh, OBS Studio did not update the PPA, which is the Debian package. I checked on the, oh, actually, let me just, let's just do it here. Uh, search OBS or something like that. And let's just do it here live. Look for OBS. Okay, there's the OBS Studio 27. Obviously, that's the reason why I started using the PPA. But then the PPA did not get updated. So I was like, okay, let's look at the, the flat back here. Um, and I was able to find OBS Studio latest version there, which is the one that I'm, we're using right now. Now, how the hell do you install and use Flatpak super easily here? Well, you do a sudo app install Flatpak. Okay, that's all. That's all that you do. And that would turn the software center, well, the Ubuntu software center, or actually the GNOME software center here, this puppy. Now it will be able to um, install flat packs. And so let, let's do one example. So um, I'm going to, let's, let's uninstall flat pack. Uh, remove uh, handbrake. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is the process. So it is because there could be multiple packages called handbrake there. So do you want to install this one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is going to affect this and that and this package, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, go ahead. Don't worry. Boom. It's on install. This one was really fast. Uh, Postman took longer because it, there were more packages, package dependencies. Let's call it like that. Um, okay. So now, how do we go to the store of Flatpak? So let's go to Flat Hub. It's called, well, there it is. Okay. Flatpak. Hub. Flat Hub. Okay, and I want to look for handbrake. Let's type handbrake. There it is. I double check that it's using the version that the latest version that I want. There's two ways of doing this. Okay, there's a way of you following these steps. Okay, and you end up installing Flatpak as a package. Like if I click here, it downloads. It will download a package similar to this. Okay, actually here it is. Uh, this was an example there. So here it is, and and if you follow this. You'll be able to install it, and then to execute that package, you gotta go to the console and type this in. But because we actually installed through app the the Flatpak package again, remember it's sudo app install Flatpak. After you do that, you don't need to do any of this. So what you do is you just click here. That will download the package. The moment that you click on it, this will happen. And then you, and it's actually telling you, hey, it's coming from Flatpak. You can get it from the Ubuntu uh, dev package. It will also say snap if it had a snap version. Um, but no, let's just install it. You'll see the process of installing. It's depending on the on the package, like uh, Blender actually took longer. And after we installed it, you can actually put the, um, the icon here. Like it's showing here again because it, I just removed it and added it again and Ubuntu notice thing. Okay, here you are. And I can just click it, open it, and you can see that I'm using the latest version. Okay. No problem with that. So we have that alternative. We have that alternative. We have the flat hub alternative, which literally has most of my packages. Okay, they're not coming from Snap. Although Snap, I can't complain with Snap. Like if I open Android Studio, it will fast. Um and yeah, you know, everything else there, including Firefox and all that. That's between Flatpak and Snap. Okay. Debian packages, it's the same speed. It's able to uh, double check testing Android Studio, um, the handbrake with the PPA, and OBS. Those were the only tests. The speed at loading was the same with the exception of Snap on the first try. Remember, on, on, in the case of Snap, it took longer to start just the first time. Uh, any other time, they were literally the same, uh, just, just to down to the, I don't know, millisecond or something. That's Flatpak, Snap, and Debian. Okay, now for app image, I, would, I have not been able to find a way to, to 
you know, to, to have like a store for this. Uh, I know there's a store for this, but um, to integrate it into software, um, the basically the way that I just visually did it, so I can integrate it there with the, with the software center. Uh, but app images are basically their own container, and you you just need to right click properties, execute them. That's all, and then you just double click that baby. In this case, it's asking for um, you know, root permission and all that to see some some stuff. But you can see that it work perfectly. It's not slow. Okay, it's you know the, the app is not crashing or dying or something. Uh, for me, it works properly. Um, so that's the app packages. It's just uh, their own container. You download them, you execute them, and you're done. Uh, if you wanted to use one of the run ones, if you used to run, then you know about NVIDIA always running their you know, their driver version like that, dot run. Dot run is the same thing as the app packages. You right click, enable the, the um, demo executable, and then you can run them all. Like gravity mark is the one that I have here. And if we do a gravity mark, like that. By the way, I'm putting dot slash. So I'm basically telling the system, hey, the package that I'm about to execute or run, it's right where I am, in the same place that I am. So we execute that. It tells me, you know, there's going to be a lawsuit and people are going to die, whatever. Just start that and then it starts a environment with it. Actually, it's a web environment. You benchmark the thing. I actually showed this in a previous video. And and that's it, but it's working, it's working. Um, so we covered run, flat pack, Debian packages, snap packages, okay? Um, there's also bin packages, which is basically the same thing, um, like the app image and the run. You right click them, you give them permissions and all that. Obviously, if you're downloading them from a trusty place, like if you're getting them from some weird place that's you're gonna create a problem for yourself at the security level. Okay. By their bin, B I N, run, R U N, or app image. You can see them down here, dot app image. You can right click, boom, you run them, and that's it. Uh for packages like this, flat pack, after you install the did the app install flat pack, they just immediately execute here on the on the software center and for the software center i think you've noticed that i would say over the past two and no more updates for it you've noticed that it's it's faster now okay uh, so that that's what i like mm -hmm. i hope this video helps because there's so many package installers now or container installers however you want to call them um and for you to know that at least in debian arch fedora Hmm. Let me see. Well, there's been like 12 that I tested. They all work perfectly. Some of them are universal, so they don't care about the distro that you're using. Um, and there's others like Alien that can change from a, one package to another one. So that, those are things that um, can be taken into consideration there. So to give you the freedom, so you're not stuck with one package manager or one package format. Right now, almost all my packages, obviously they're Debian, but the ones that I install to customize the, my environment, they're all almost all flat pack. So that, that, that tells you a story of, you know, the, um, how reliable flat pack, uh, flat hub and flat pack are becoming for me, at least. So leave in the comments, your, your, yeah, your case about, you know, all the packages and let me know because I'm seeing a lot of future for flat here and, and the other ones. Thank you very much.